Hello, um, in this video I will show you how you can customize CSOD portal using JavaScript. Uh, as you can see here, those are the simple steps that you can follow to customize um, CS, CSOD portal. For example, to make um, simple UI changes or uh, to make simple uh, validation or calculation or to add additional user interface to the existing portal. For example, in this uh, ex uh, in this uh, model here, which I will show you shortly, uh, we have added the Hijri calendar support to the portal. First of all, we have to build a local model in order to simulate the CSOD portal locally. Okay, so you have to have a web server and build a local website on a web server. For in our case, we have used Internet Information Server. So this is in IIS. Okay, as you can see here, it's IIS and we have built a local website on a server and we have copied the pages that we want to customize from CSOD into the local server, as you can see here. So this is the same website over here. So this is the same website that we have uh, copied the pages from, uh, port from CSOD into the local server and this is the web server, okay? Uh, then we have to uh, submit a request to Cornell Stone uh, to, add, to ask them to add a reference to our main JavaScript file. So I will show you here, for example, how we have done that. So this is the portal. So uh, we have requested to add uh, our JavaScript file to the portal. So we have requested to add uh, our script uh, near the footer. You can actually put it in the head or section or the footer section. Uh, it's uh, uh, according to your needs. So in this case, this is our JavaScript, uh, as you can see here. So this is our main JavaScript. And uh, as you can see, this is the one exactly the same one over here. Uh, so basically this is the main script file that's going to load all other uh, JavaScripts and all other Java libraries or Java plugins and uh, CSS files into the portal okay and uh, the full the, the file is actually located over here so it, you have to maintain the same uh, uh, path to the JavaScript okay uh, in a while I will show you uh, how you can do that so this is the main file Okay, that's going to load all other required files, okay? After you uh, complete the initial version required uh, to customize the portal, you need actually to uh, package those uh, files and upload them to the portal. And this is the way, the best way that you can upload them to the portal. You have to use Course Publisher. Okay, so this is cor Course Publisher menu uh, from the portal. And you have to package those files using a simple course publisher formats using com format so uh, it's so this is the file we have packaged you have uh, you can search for a simple com uh, course publisher format uh, and then package uh, the files accordingly in our case we have packaged the files as as you can see over here so i'm going to open the file and it's packaged under this here okay as you can see and we put CSS here and so on and from the portal you can use the this screen to upload and update the scripts that you are you have completed okay you choose the file from here and continue as usual you can you know click upload and so on you have to follow the standard uh, procedure to upload the uh, uh, the new files using course publisher then you have to carry out and continue the development work locally and test it and as you can see here this is an example of the uh, task uh, performance task uh, review and we have added hg calendar support over here as you can see this is on the local server in the next video i will complete the other steps Thank you for watching.